OCN, Word of God to the World. Welcome to Creations by In Him. I am your host, Dr. Dolores Jones, and we are back. We've been talking about important facts concerning salvation. Oh, I tell you, so much involved. Just as we are getting ready to get started, the word salvation implies safety, soundness of mind, preservation, healing, and deliverance. So we begin to speak or talk about healing that the Lord Jesus Christ has provided for every child uh, or his child with us in the family of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, I tell you, the word of God is so inexhaustible. He is so much that he has provided for us as his children. And so uh, I had asked the question, what is sickness? Well, based on the word of God, sickness is satanic oppression. Let's look at the book of Acts. We're going to go to the book of Acts, uh, chapter number 10. I'm reading from the ever-increasing faith Bible. It's so important to know what God's word says concerning these areas, and especially this area as far as healing that has been provided for us through the redemptive work of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's a blessing to know that I don't have to be sick. I don't have to be racked with pain. And that is very exciting to know. See, our Father wants us to walk in divine health, divine prosperity. It's all available. It's all provided, but it's all in his word. Over in Acts 10, number 38, it says, How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. So in other words, sickness is satanic oppression. The child of God does not have to live like that. You do not have to be ill. It is a choice that you make. And uh, God is the one that said, according to his word, that he would confirm his word in our situations and circumstances with the signs following. That is just so awesome, family. I tell you. Now, I wanted to share this concerning when you're believing God according to what his word says. And this all, it is all by faith. And, you know, faith simply means acting on the word of God. And um, when it comes to healing, as I said, we individually, you only can know when something is not corresponding in your physical body, something is off kilter. So with that in mind, you need to go and get an examination and find out what's going on. It's important. Just don't take things for granted. Even if you say, well, I, I do not even have medical insurance. There are places uh, that you can go. You just have to call and, and get some general information. There are clinics and things that you can go to where they'll provide free care for you. And, but you need to do that because we only have this one body. And God wants us to know how to uh, learn how to take care of our physical bodies. As a matter of fact, while I'm on that, let's go over to 1 Corinthians. Because it's important to know that in all actuality, our bodies do not even belong to us. We are just the caretakers of these physical bodies. And so with that in mind, it's like if you have an automobile, in order for that automobile to be in good working condition, they'll tell you, okay, after 3,000 miles, 6,000 miles, 10,000 miles, you need to come and get your car checked out. Well, what do you think we need to do with these physical bodies? I say get a checkup or get wrecked up, but that choice is yours. Over in 1 Corinthians chapter number 3, and we're going to look at verse number 16. It says, do you not know that you are the temple of God? Oh, that's interesting. It says, do you not know that you are the temple of God and that the spirit of God dwells in you? Number 17, if anyone defiles the temple of God, God will destroy him. What are you talking about, Dr. Jones? God will destroy him. For the temple of God is holy, which temple you are. This is what I'm speaking of, family. Not the God, the Lord Jesus Christ is not the author of death. He is the author of life. However, 
because he's made us the free moral agent and given us a choice, if you do not choose to line up with the word of God and you just take things for granted, well, you are out of the umbrella of God's protection. So that means that anything can come upon your physical body. And so it's not God that's destroying you, it's the devil. Because the word of God reminds us over in John 10 and 10, it's the thief who comes to kill, to steal and destroy. God said, I've come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. The Lord Jesus Christ is all about life family. He wants us to have a long life. He wants us to have abundant life. He wants us to have a good living. And the thing is, it's available. We can do this. But the choice is ours, and we have to learn how to do it his way and not our way. Over in 1 Corinthians 6, we'll look at verse number 19. It says, or do you not know that your body, this body, what I see of you and you see of me. This is the temple where God dwells on the inside. It says, or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? Oh, who is in you, whom you have from God and you're not your own? Oh my goodness. The word says that, or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you who is, whom you have from God, and you are not your own. Number 20, for you have been bought with a price. Mm. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. That's why I say we are just the caretakers of these physical bodies. And see, the word also tells us, we don't have to turn to it, you can write it down and look at it later, but over in Psalms 90, in verse number 10, the, uh, uh, the word tells us that God has given us three score and 10 years, which a score is 20. So three times 20 is 60 and 10 is 70. So we have that provided 70 years. However, if you are a good caretaker of this physical body, you can go on and the 70s is like the new, it's like the new 50s <laughs> now. <laughs> but you have to take care of these temples. That's why you have to get them checked up. You need to get your rest, proper rest. You need to drink water. Water is the physical cleanser. Water, it clears out the impurities in our physical body. Uh, and, and, and like I said, to eat right, eat the proper food and all these things, see, it, it, it's a process that we must do. But there again, like I said, the word just said it. I didn't say it. My name is Bennett. You'll not see my name in it. That's what God's word says that these bodies, they do not even belong to us. They are the temple where God dwells on the inside. When man receives and confesses Jesus as the personal Lord and Savior, it is the spirit you on the inside that is reborn. And so when an uh, individual ceases or takes or breathes his last breath on this side of the face of earth, it is his spirit, the real him, the born again, or born from above, or born anew, the spirit that ascends to be with the Lord Jesus Christ. And this physical body, this here, we have the responsibility of taking care of that. You see, man is what you call or considered a tripart type being. Well, what am I saying? All right, I'm glad you asked. Let's go over the book of First Thessalonians. Number five, 1 Thessalonians chapter number five. It's all based on the word of God. And it's important to know what God's word says. Hallelujah. Because to whom much is given, much is required. So we won't be able to cop out, roll over or play dead. So 1 Thessalonians five, verse 23, it says, Now may the God of peace himself, sanctify you completely and may your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless until the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, the soul of man family is what considered or contains your mind, your will, your intellect, and your emotions. And so that's why it's so important 
that the mind has to be renewed based on what God's word says. That's why I was sharing in our last time that we are, other than that in the physical or in the natural, we're governed by sense knowledge evidence, what I can see, feel, hear, touch, and taste. Therefore, when it comes to the word of God, it's according to what I believe and confess in line with what God's word says. So, I do not have to be sick. Hallelujah. Oh, that's such a good, uh, a good thing to know. It's not no fun being sick or being in pain or discomfort, not at all. Now, when you are believing or taking God at his word, you're making a, a regular daily confession. Father, I just want to thank you that I believe I'm healed based on what your word says. Regardless if you're having physical symptoms or pain or discomfort, you are not denying the fact that that's going on, but my faith is based on what God's word says. Now, it may be that whatever you are, whatever type of illness you are dealing with, maybe the doctor has prescribed medication. All right. Now, when it comes to infections and things like that, you need some antibiotics. And so you need to take the medication. Now, understand. Your faith is not based on the doctors. Your faith is not based on the medication. Your faith is based on what God's word says. I believe that I am healed by the stripes of Jesus. So you go ahead, you take the medicine, and you make your confession, Father, I believe I am healed by the stripes of Jesus. Because understand this, when the physical manifestation comes to pass, your physical body will be the first one to be alerted. A well body will reject medication, doesn't need it anymore. So that's important to know. So don't be in foolishness. You know, it's, it's, it's very, uh, you have to be very serious about this. It's not anything to be played with. It, this is a matter of our life. He said he wants us to have long life, but there again, we have to do it, walk in the knowledge of what God's word says, which makes all the difference. It's, the word says over in Acts 17 and 28, that's why I was given the name creations by in him. We are a creation. We are created by the Lord Jesus Christ. Acts 10, uh, 17, 28 says it's in him that we live and move and have our being. In him in and through what the Lord Jesus Christ, through is what his word says. Hallelujah. It's in him. Oh, it's so awesome to know. It's just exciting. All right, let's move on. We're going to go over now to the book of Psalms. We're still talking about healing. Uh, as I had stated before, healing has been provided for us through the redemptive work of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we are to walk in divine health, divine wealth, and divine prosperity is available. However, he has his way that it must be applied. We have to do things God's way and not our way. Over in Psalms uh, 107, as I had stated earlier, I'm reading from the Ever Increasing Faith Bible. All right, Psalms 107, and we'll look at verse number 20, which says, he sent, sent, sent his word. All right, he's already sent his word. And what? He healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Delivered them. It's already done. He sent his word, family, and he healed us and delivered us from all our destructions. Thank you, Jesus. It's already, it's a done deal. All we have to do is receive of what God's word says. And then make our confession on a daily basis. Father, I want to thank you. I believe I'm healed according to what your word says, by your stripes. Now let's look at uh, the book of Mark. Mark chapter number 16, talking about healing. And this is a provision that's made for the family, those of us who have received Jesus as personal Lord and Savior. Over in uh, Mark number 16, you see God has given this to us based on what his word says. Mark 16, and let's look at starting off with verse number 
16. It says, he who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned. Well, thank God we don't have to be in that club. Number 17, and these signs will follow those who believe in my name. They will cast out demons. See, this is the authority that God has given us in his name, that they will speak with new tongues. They will take up serpents, and if they drink anything deadly, it will not hurt them. And watch this. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. God has given us that uh, based on what his word says. So in other words, what am I saying? We can lay hands on yourself. I don't have to be at church. Maybe I can't get to church. Maybe I can't have a minister to lay hands on me at a given time, especially if it's 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. Well, you better take one of your own hands and lay it on yourself and say, Father, by faith I receive my healing right now in the name of Jesus. He's given us that authority. We can lay hands on the sick. Well, if I'm dealing with some physical symptoms right then, I need some attention immediately so I can take my hand. Father, I want to thank you that based on your word, you said I can lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. So I believe I am healed by your stripes. I receive it by faith in the name of Jesus. So it's very important, family, to understand that God has given us authority based on his name. And it's like if you have a checking account, a savings account, Consider this, when you write out your check, what does it say? Pay to the order of. So we're paying to the order of what God's word says, and we're signing it in the name of Jesus. That's our check, <laughs> as we're to say, based on what God's word says. So that's why it's so important. You need to know what his word says. And then that he is a God of his word. He'll do all that his word says he will do, all that you will believe and confess according to his word. There again, he said, I will confirm my word with the signs following. I'm telling you, that's some kind of God that we serve. He's an awesome God. You have to understand, he is not a mamby-pamby God. He loves us very much. He is concerned about every area and aspect of our lives. All right, let's look at a few more scriptures here concerning healing and uh that uh, the Lord has already provided for us through his redemptive work. And oh, hallelujah. Let's go over to Mark chapter 11. Mark chapter 11. It's important to know, there again, this uh, it's just so much in the word. It's, like I said, inexhaustible. <laughs> it's life-giving. It's like a, a woman uh, expecting a child. Nine months, she's great with child. Well, God's word is great. It's always bursting forth with new revelation all the time. All you have to do is be sensitive enough to receive it and then begin to act on it. Let's look at Mark 11, which is a familiar chapter. And let's look at verse number four. It says, therefore, what's it there for? I say to you that whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. So according to what his word says. So we have healing that's provided for us. And that's another thing that we have to learn. But we'll be talking about that later on. There are prayers, certain prayers that you pray based on what God's word says. But then you have to know what rules goes with that particular prayer based on what his word says. But he said, therefore, I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray. Well, when am I praying? I'm praying now. Believe that you receive them. I believe in it right now, and you will have them. So according to what God's word says, Father, I believe that I receive right now my healing. I am healed from the top of my head to the soles of my feet in the name of Jesus. By faith, I receive it, and I'm thanking you, Father, for it right now in Jesus' name. So see, he's given us that authority. He's given that privilege to the child of God. And we have to be about doing it. Hallelujah. What we want you to do now, family, we want to take a few moments. We want you to hear this, this song, let it minister to you. Then we're going to come back and I'm going to pray with you. Thank you.
family, we want to pray with you now. So if you'd just be so kind and bow your heads and close your eyes and confess or follow this confession. Dear God in heaven, your word says according to Romans 10, 9 and 10, that if I will confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in my heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, I will be saved. For with my heart I believe unto righteousness, and with my mouth confession is made unto salvation. Lord Jesus, I thank you that you are my Lord and you are my Savior. I want to thank you now for taking mental distress for my worries and my anxieties. I want to thank you for taking spiritual torment for my sins. Your word says in 1 Peter 2.24 that by the stripes of Jesus I was healed. So by faith, according to your word, I receive my healing now in the name of Jesus. Let's just thank him, family. Oh, Father, we give you all the praise, we give you all the glory, and we give you all the honor. Thank you so much for loving us so. Oh, we bless and praise you today. Now, family, we want to hear from you. Just drop us a line. Uh, Creations by In Him, P.O. Box 44060, Los Angeles, California. We just want to hear from you. Uh, let us know if you know, how the message is, is it ministering to you or if you have any questions about the subject matter that we've been sharing with you. We are here. We make ourselves available to you. We want to thank uh, OCN for allowing us this privilege and opportunity. And uh, Jesus is Lord. We love you, family. So just remember, you are not a victim, but you are victorious based on what God's word says. Hallelujah. You are valuable, you are precious, and you've been purchased by the precious blood of Jesus. You are somebody. Hallelujah. So you remember that, family. Hold on to that and be encouraged. Jesus is Lord and the devil is defeated. So remember that this is another week of the devil's defeat. We thank you. We'll see you for the next time. Thank you.